he's an interesting man, uh, very talented. Uh, he, uh, uh, Klaus was, uh, came from Germany. He, uh, he studied at the University of Berlin. Uh, he uh, uh, left during Hitler's regime, uh, fortunately before, uh, before they caught on to the fact that he, would, he was a, a very a, a brask uh, teenager and he did some things that were that Hitler wouldn't have liked if he had really found out. So anyway, he, he came over to this country and uh, worked for uh, uh, Dubont, uh, and, uh, uh, and it was there that Paramount uh, found him. He, he started out doing, he was uh, the head of a uh, production line, uh, on an assembly line actually, for making TV sets and things of that nature. And uh, Paul Rayburn, vice president of uh, Paramount Pictures, uh, then uh, interviewed him, and uh, uh, in the uh, 1930s, he became, they, they hired him as uh, chief engineer. Uh, later on, uh, he became general manager of the station, and uh, he, uh, that's when uh, it, one of his first things he did there was to move the transmitter from but the roof of the sound stage on the Paramount lot for our transmitter point up to Mount Wilson, which is 6,000 feet up. That was a brilliant move. And uh, it proved to be a good one, and everybody uh, thereafter followed up on, on Mount Wilson. It became an antenna farm up there in the years that followed. What was his vision for the station? He wanted to be more than a tax deduction, and he basically forced the issue. He wanted to develop shows. Uh, he uh, he foresee. The, the fact that there would be news events in Los Angeles that would be, that would be a, a thing to be covered. Uh, he, he had a, a knack of, of uh, as time went on, of developing shows by, by discovering talent that was working around Los Angeles, like Time for Beanie, you know, and things of that nature. Uh, and uh, he developed cooking shows, you know, and things of that nature. And uh, pretty soon we had, uh, from like one show a week, when we were on the Paramount lot, we were beginning to have a weekly rostrum of, of things that were getting filled up, and we were making money from it. And, but then uh, uh, he had an interest in, in uh, developing a remote, a remote pickups, and that's where we started with the Cherish Rodeo, and then we started doing sporting events. And I, as I say, I became uh, uh, a remote supervisor at that time. We would set up remotes, and then I would act as a technical director. I would push the buttons on the switching consoles and so forth uh, for whoever was directing. And that at the beginning, that was Klaus.